In this lecture example, we're going to look at recoupment. And this lecture example shows a lot of different recoupment calculations for a variety of different assets. In my honest opinion, if you can do this, you should be able to answer the majority of your questions and you should be able to score the majority of your marks. There are two parts to this question. There's example one and there is example number two. Now, I'm going to spend my time on example one, the majority of it. I'm not going to do every single one of these things with you guys because they're all the same. So I'm going to do one or two of you just so you get into the habit of it and the rest of it will be the same. What I want you to understand about example one is there is no need to calculate capital allowances in this example. It is given to you. Now, in an exam situation, you'll have to calculate it yourself, and there are plenty of examples of that in point two. So let's start with it. Now guys, honestly, there's a format that you can use and it will be able to answer your questions. So the format is going to be cost, lease allowances, gives us a tax value, and then we have selling price, and we always just write limited to original cost. Remember what that means. That means, it doesn't mean you must use the original cost, it means you must use the lower of original cost or selling price. And the difference between those amounts, that will give you our recoupment. So, let's take a look at it. So A Limited is a company with 31 December yen, and it's a registered VAT vendor, disposed of several assets during the year. These assets are given below. So manufacturing machine A is the first one. So this machine had a cost of a million rands. So a cost of a million rands. It tells you the total Section 12C allowances granted up to the date of sale was 800,000 rands. Now that you obviously need to be able to calculate yourself. For the purpose of this, we're just putting it in to show you. So... 200,000 rands and then they tell you it was sold for a million rands so it was sold for the same amount as its original cost so original cost is a million selling price is a million so a million minus 200,000 rands gives me 800,000 rands I've recovered a hundred percent of my cost so SARS has recovered a hundred percent of its allowances so that 800,000 rands goes into my rands column then I need to do my capital gain calculation the capital gain calculation is proceeds, which is the actual selling price, million rands, minus whatever the recoupment is. And the recoupment is the amount that you've calculated. It is not always the amount that you've included in your rands column, guys. Please just be aware of it. It's the amount that you have calculated. Right, so 800,000 rands gives us 200,000 rands proceeds. Our base cost is the cost of the asset which is a million rands less any allowances that were claimed on that which was 800,000 rands gives us a 200,000 rands base cost and a null capital gain okay so that's that one machine B at a cost of two and a half million rands and allowances granted out of the date of sales a million rands it was sold for two million okay so let's just clean this up a little bit so cost of two and a half million rands
Total 12, section 12C allowances were a million rands. That gives us a tax value of 1.5 million rands. They then tell you it was sold for 2 million rands. The original cost was 2.5. So, selling price limited to original cost is the lower of original cost 2.5 million or selling price 2 million. So, 2 million minus 1.5 million is 500,000 rands. Can you see? We had allowances of a million in the past, but our recoupment is only 500,000. Why? Because our cost was 2.5 million, but we recovered only 2 million. So, we recovered part of our cost, so it also recovers part of the recoupment. Right, so that 500,000 rands goes in. Then, our proceeds is our actual selling price, 2 million rands, less the recoupment, which you calculated. Our base cost is the cost, 2.5 million rands, less allowances, 1.5 million rands. Oh, sorry, not one and a half new rands, just a million rands. Gives us one and a half new rands base cost. And that gives us a null capital gain. We didn't sell it for more than its original cost, so we haven't made a gain. Okay. Next one. C. Manufacturing machine C at a cost of two million rands. Total section 12C allowances granted, 2 million rands. So it's been fully written off. And was sold for 2.8 million rands. Original cost is 2 million, so selling price limited to original cost. Lower of the two is 2 million. 2 million minus nil, 2 million. We've recovered 2. Point, we sold for 2.8 million, our original cost is 2 million. So we've recovered more than our original cost. Allowances must be limited to or recoupment must be limited to past allowances. So that gives us 2 million rands recoupment. Our proceeds, 2.8 million rands, minus our recoupment amount, 2 million rands, gives us 800,000. Our base cost is 2 million rands, cost, less allowances of 2 million rands, so our base cost is null. 800,000 minus a base cost of null gives us a capital gain of 800. Hundred thousand rands. Okay, guys. Then I just want to show you one for an example sake. Office building B. Office building B was purchased second hand at a cost of three million rands. So can you get section thirteen quin if it's second hand? No. So there were no section thirteen quin. So how many allowances did you get in the past? Nothing. Recoupments can't be more than what you got in the past. So if you got nothing in the past, you can't have a recoupment. It was sold for 3.2 million. So if I just take you to the office building and the solution, there's no recoupment. So you don't do that first part of the calculation. But the capital gain will then be proceeds, which is the selling price less the recoupment of null, and the base cost, which is the cost. Right, guys, in example two, all of these things are exactly the same. The only difference is you need to be able to calculate each of the year's allowances. And this is how you will see it in an exam, but obviously this, you need to have your knowledge of allowances to be able to do that. So please do work through the rest of that.